on Sunday we have um, we have nothing special. Okay. On Monday, on Monday we will have. I will monitor the EU economic forecasts. Yep. Then we will have the Euro trade balance all time frames. Oh, why is it doing that? Sorry. Do want it jumping around? All time frame for the uh, trade balance. Yep. The card uh, housing start we can ignore because it is valid only for US. Then we have the CAD manufacturing sales uh, and world sales sales under H4. Okay. We can ignore all the the, the speech, the, the talks. Cool. Uh, the CAD world sales sales Chris also under H4. Just below. Uh, where are they? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Then we will have uh, the parliamentary policy report hearing to monitor and the OZ monetary policy meeting minutes to monitor. Okay, sorry, what was the first one? Parliamentary. Did you mean the pound, this one? Oh, okay. I heard a completely different word. Sure. Okay. Cool. Done. Then on Tuesday, on Tuesday, we will have, uh, where does it start? I don't see because of the clock. Oh, the tertiary in the industry activity. Yep. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, we will have the Euro flash GDP quarter of a quarter all time frames. Okay. Then 30 year bond auction for the pound to monitor. Yep. The US dollar co retail sales and retail sales month over month under H4. Yep. The Kiwi GDT price index all time frames. Yep. Um, the yen preliminary GDP price index and preliminary GDP quarter over quarter. Uh, no, sorry, uh, year over year, it's not important. Quarter over quarter, yeah, uh, all time frames. Okay. Then we have the OZ, am I leading? No, it is the, the leading index, so not important. Um, okay. Can you scroll down the, the um, calendar a little bit? It's at the Tuesday. Tuesday is done, here's Wednesday. Okay, so Wednesday. Oh. Okay, I'll have to scroll that one, that's a bit big. Wednesday. I will still monitor the pound CPI year over year and core CPI year over year. So simply monitor. Okay. Um, monitor the Euro ECB financial stability review. Yep. I will also monitor the Euro final CPI and final core CPI year over year. So simply monitor. Then monitor the Euro German 30 year bond auction. Then we will have the CAD CPI month over month, month, month all time frames and the core CPI month over month all time frames. Then we will have the US dollar housing starts to monitor. And then monitor the US dollar crude oil inventories. And then if you want to scroll down the calendar. So where were we? Uh, oh. inventories. Okay, then the yen trade balance all time frames. <sighs> trade balance all time frames. Yep, gotcha. And then we can monitor. So uh, we can consider uh, not necessarily all time frame, but under H4 the OZ employment change and unemployment rate. Okay. And I will monitor the annual budget release for the Kiwi, indeed. On Thursday, we'll have the Euro um, current account all time frames. Yep. Monitor the Euro Spanish 10 year bond auction. Yep. Uh, monitor the Euro ECB monetary policy meeting accounts. 
Oh, sorry, earthquake here. Ah, hang on. Oh, big one. I'll be back. Oh, that was it. I hope. Is it okay? Uh, yeah, I had the first rumble come through and then the second one came through. So that's probably it for, for that quake. I'll just call up the earthquake people and see how big it was. Okay. Um, sorry, carry so, on. The Euro ECB monetary policy meeting accounts to monitor. <laughs> then we will have the oh. US dollar. <laughs> sorry. I'm awake now, right? Um, yes, sorry, carry on. US dollar, Philly Fed Manufacturing Index under H4. Yep. Uh, unemployment claims uh, monitor for the US dollar. Uh, existing home sale, no, you don't need to monitor, Chris. It's only the, the housing, start, the house starts, the new house sorry. starts, which is important in USA. Uh, monitor the US dollar natural gas storage. Um, Kiwi trade balance all time frames. Yep. Monitor the pound GFK consumer confidence. Yep. And I will also monitor the yen national core CPI year over year. Okay. And that's it for Thursday. And on Friday, we will have the pound retail sales month over month under H4 and monitor the parliamentary elections in uh, Australia. Oh, they're finally happening. Yeah. <laughs> They've been awful. Okay, let's see what it was. Uh, ooh, it's quite close, 4.7. Okay. <clears throat> There's a reasonable rattle here. I'm, I'm on a mountain that's on rock, so it doesn't move too much here. So if I only pick up things that are sort of like Near five on the Richter scale. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe it's going to invade us. Um, uh, right. So I'll just save that in case some, something happens. And uh, okay. So the normal incantation applies here. Um, anything that's marked under H four all time frames, and we don't have any, but high impact ones we don't have any of those uh, don't place any trades half uh, one hour prior get out of them within half an hour but you're all standard people so if you've got scale or something like that you don't have to be quite so rough on yourself if you've got lots of scale -ins. Um it's to protect you against volatility so if you got a lot of scale -ins on then perhaps um, say four scale -ins, take off a half of them so that at least you've got some profits there and uh, any volatility is unlikely to imp impact on your account size. But um, j just still be really careful. Uh, if you have the ability to follow Eusebio's uh, pair bias advantage, where he gives you an idea of the indication of, uh, of the strength of a particular pair for that day, then uh, sometimes you can perhaps hang on through the actual news as well or get into the news even closer because you know the direction that it's likely to push the price in. Um, but without knowing the fundamentals like the pair bias, then don't um, uh, don't mess around with that. It's just um, gambling in that case. John says don't take any trades until the third aftershock. Ah, uh, well, no, we, okay, John, thanks. <laughs> and yes, always use a hard stop loss. Really, really, really important. Um, I'm glad you've learned that lesson, John, because uh, your chart will be coming up shortly. Okay, um, so the top 10 pair are here. And I haven't actually uploaded it yet, but one, six, oh, it's getting huger. <laughs> um, the, we haven't had uh, a range this high in ages. Uh, it's still been down around the 1200s recently. But in the olden days, it was much, much bigger. Uh, but anyway, here are the top 10 pairs. And how far down do you want to go for the still trading? Um, you can go down until the US dollar Swiss. Okay. 19. 
Yeah. So, okay, thank you. There. And okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we, as in Eusebio, will match up the top 10 pairs <clears throat> with the news for that particular day and come up with uh, a selection of pairs just for this for that day itself. So let's get uh, Chris, in the top 10 pairs, I would like to add as the 11th pair the. Um, uh, which one? Uh, the euro, the euro, euro, euro. Which one? Let me see. The euro US dollar. Okay. You may. You're the boss. Right. So let's get going. Um. So on mo on Sunday we've got no news. And on Monday we have. Uh, kicking off with the euro. So euro, 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 and euro, yeah. Uh, and the CAD in the afternoon. The CAD, CAD, okay. That's it. Okay, so first choice will be euro yen, euro Aussie. Euro yen, euro Aussie. Okay. Then pound card, pound yen. Pound card, pound yen. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, uh, I, made a, I made a small mistake. So uh, pound card, euro, US dollar. Pound card, euro, US dollar. Okay. Yeah, and then pound yen, pound US dollar. Pound yen, pound US dollar. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Thursday, yeah. first slot, pound yen, pound US, pound US dollar. Okay. Uh, click. Gotcha. Right. Tuesday, we've got no leftovers from Monday. Mm -hmm. and Tuesday we have uh, the euro again. The euro, so euro, 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 okay. And the US dollar. The US dollar, so US dollar, US dollar, and US dollar, okay. And the kiwi, which is tentative. And the kiwi, so kiwi, okay. So first choice, euro, US dollar, and pound US dollar, euro US dollar and pound US dollar. Yep. Then euro yen, euro Aussie, euro yen, euro Aussie. Oops, oops, gotcha. Yeah, and then US dollar yen pound kiwi. US dollar yen pound kiwi. Uh, let's try this. US dollar yen pound kiwi. And so leftovers from Tuesday are the kiwi still. The kiwi, kiwi, kiwi here, okay. Uh, the yen. The yen, so yen, 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 okay. Okay, and uh, nothing Wednesday morning, but in the afternoon we've got CAD. The CAD, okay. And that's it. Okay. Uh, the US, no. Okay. No. That, that's yep. good. So, um, <coughs> pound yen, euro yen. Pound yen, euro yen. Ah, 
and just over it with the same one. Whatever. Mountain uh, European. Uh, the keyboard's not very good today. It's taking a while to warm up. The okay. keyboard or the keyboarder? <laughs> <laughs> so okay. then <laughs> OZN Euro OZ. OZN Euro. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. OZN, OZN pound card. I have misread. OZN pound card. OZN pound card. Right. And then US dollar, US dollar yen pound kiwi, like Tuesday, a uh, Thursday, a uh, Tuesday. <laughs> US dollar yen <laughs> pound kiwi, like Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so Wednesday leftovers. We have the yen. The yen. So yen. Yen, 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 okay. The Aussie. The Aussie, 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 okay. Uh, the Euro. The Euro, 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 okay. USD. Wow, we will have a lot of choice. USD, 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 okay. I need a little break after this one, and that's it. Okay, so uh, let's see carefully here. Um, Euro yen, Aussie yen. Euro yen, Aussie yen. Uh, this will do. Euro yen, Aussie yen. Okay, then we'll have the Euro OZ, USD Yen, Euro USD. Yeah. So three of them. Euro OZ, Euro US Dollar Yen, Euro USD. So Euro OZ, US Dollar Yen, and Euro USD. Ah, thanks. Okay. Okay, and uh, then we will have Pound yen, pound US dollar. Pound yen, pound US dollar. Okay. And uh, leftovers from Thursday are the kiwi. The kiwi, so the kiwi <coughs> is here, okay. Or as Americans that come to New Zealand say, the kiwi. <laughs> uh, and on Friday we've got the pound. Pound, pound. Pound, 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 and pound. That's okay. It. So we will have, let's see, pound kiwi. <laughs> so pound <laughs> kiwi. Watch it, watch it. <laughs> pound kiwi, pound yen. Okay. Pound kiwi, pound yen. Then pound US dollar, pound Aussie. Pound US dollar, pound Aussie. Mm, can't see you. Yep. And then um, pound CAD, pound Swiss. <laughs> okay. Let's just throw something completely different in. Ah, uh, yeah. It's unusual mix this, this week. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. Uh, let's save it. Okay. So uh, the idea for these ones is instead of um, monitoring all of these, uh, the top 10 pairs, um, just burns your brains out. Well, it does with mine. You can just monitor them too. Um, instead, uh, you could monitor on a daily basis just these top four or five here to start with. And then if, if they aren't working for you, drop down to selection number three. And if, for instance, the pound is jumping around all over the show for some reason, uh, maybe Boris Johnson gets fired, 
then uh, and the pound starts getting twitchy, you can move down to something that doesn't move as much but is less stressful but still can produce a bit more of a profit than uh, trying to trade the Aussie Kiwi or something like that. So uh, just to give you a bit of, bit of a better selection and point you in the right direction. But some of the movements have been quite nice lately. So let's do that. Uh, okay. If there's any questions about the news watch, we have finished that. Oh, no, we haven't finished. We have what, two more bits left. Um, one is this. Pull this down. So we've got the long-term uh, impacts or things things to watch out for. Um, none of these have really changed. Um, and I was complaining to you, Xavier, but they're just taking ages to, to move through, like uh, European Union dissolving could take decades. Um, unless you or talk perhaps, to you. Or perhaps some days. We, we, in fact, we never know. And, yep. and this is the feature of these type of events. They may yeah. accelerate, they may never happen. Um, okay, and sure. So uh, there's no change on these ones. And the other thing that we will do, and I don't know how Prime is going to keep up this week. I'm going to have to have a, a little thinking. Um, is for the, if I can bring it up, uh, your general outlook for the week, you say, Bio. Yeah. And just before that, I concerning that point, um, I will answer John's uh, question. So did you do your Saturday BIOS homework today? If yes, how long does it take you? I'm thinking of starting in a month or two to formulate my own BIOS and wondering how much time to allocate to the task. Um, it depends, uh, John. Uh, uh, sometimes I go fast, sometimes I take time. Today, uh, if I remember correctly, it took me around one hour and a half to go to the entire material I need to, to check to establish a BIOS. But sometimes it's less, sometimes it's longer. It depends uh, on the quantity of information we have to analyze. And it depends also how I feel. If I feel tight, it will take much more time. <laughs> if I'm fit, uh, uh, if I am motivated, it will go fast. So uh, there, there was not a fixed answer. And sometimes I do my analysis by chunk of half an hour at a time, because sometimes uh, analyzing ana ana analyzing information uh, here and there for one hour, two hours, may become sometimes boring. So, but it's necessary to do it. So, okay. my bias, yeah. Uh, well, I was just going to say on the price levels side of things, um, Sabia has done them already. Uh, it, they take hours as well to do sort of um, yeah. two, to th two to three hours to produce biases for the 30 pairs. So um, subscribing to his um, subscription service where you get 30 pairs all made up for you each week it is a nice cost-effective way of doing it, um, just to say. Okay, now it's hard work as well. And, and by the way, yeah, it's good that you mentioned that, Chris, because by making the, the, the levels, uh, I have also a look to the bigger picture of the chart, and so I see what is happening on higher time frames, and this helps, in fact, to uh, to better understand where the where is the information I have to analyze first. For example, if we observe a pair like the euro US dollar on the higher time frame, we can see that the euro US dollar is dropping like a rock. Uh, and so uh, this means that something is happening either on the US dollar or on the euro. And in fact, it's happening on both of them. So you see, the US dollar is getting strong because it is still a reserve currency. And there are expectations for the Fed to increase the interest rates. So the mm -hmm. US dollar is strong yeah. and, the, and the euro um, is impacted by the sanctions negatively by the sanctions they are taking against Russia uh, with a high level of inflation, with a, a lack of supply um, in some product like oil, like uh, gas, like wheat. Um, and so uh, the European Union is going into probably into deep problems. And so this affects negatively the euro. And so this helps to, to, to understand where to focus 
uh, our attention. So, and similarly, if you take a pair like the US dollar yen, for example, you will see also that the US dollar yen is uh, climbing to the sky. I'm trying. US dollar yen. Yeah, it wasn't coming up. Where is it? Here we go. Above gold. Yeah. You see. Why? Because there, there was a big diversion between the, the Fed and the, the Bank of Japan. The Bank of on Japan continues with, it, with its um, quantitative easing, and the Fed is tapering the quantitative easing and uh, is engaged in increasing its interest rates. And so the US dollar. So we know what are the information which are extremely useful uh, in this um, global outlook. Okay. So this this is some ideas you 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 may have if you analyze uh, simply the, the daily chart will give you a, a lot of hints a lot of clues where to put your attention in fact because something is happening okay yeah and, and the debt uh, uh, of Japan is extremely important of course and a, a, a big debt never help uh, to for the economy to recover and for the uh, plus an aging population and a smaller population. So uh, they cannot afford indeed higher rates. And so they are trapped in some in some problems, probably for many years, still many years. So, uh, okay. Well, th in that case, we might as well bring up Ralph's question, Eusebio. Uh, seems we might have a recession, uh, uh, inflation all over the place. How does this affect the forex trading stability and um, viability of the markets? Uh, the viability of the market, I have no doubt about that. The market will still be there tomorrow in one year, in 10 years, in, in 50 years, except if the capitalism model or the market model completely disappear, of course. But there will be probably shocks in the market, even in the currency markets. But these shocks create also opportunities. And this is how, as a trader, we have to look the market. So whenever there, were, there are problems around the world, whenever there are tensions between countries, whatever the type of tensions, this will create opportunities for traders. And so I, I have no doubt, for example, uh, for the moment, the stock market is indeed dropping a lot. Uh, I think we have achieved more than 25% drop in the S&P 500. Uh, and so this is, con this is considered as the beginning of uh, a crash, in fact. Uh, and, but there are ways to exploit uh, these drops in the markets. You can make a lot of money with this kind of movement. So don't consider that you, you have only opportunities when everything goes fine, when everything goes worse, and when the situation is worse, there are also very nice opportunities because you can trade in both directions and you have a multitude of tools to trade in both directions, whatever the market you want to trade. Okay, I hope that helps, Ralph. So let's go back to... So we, we can we can be very very pessimistic on the, the the on the economy, but we can be extremely optimistic on the trading opportunities. In fact, and then if you are able to exploit these opportunities with the money you are making, you can help your family, you can help your friends to uh, overcome these economic problems. <laughs>